today we are going to be harvesting yams. This is Dioscoria alata. These are the aerial bulbils. And then the vine actually goes pretty much all the way to the top of this pine tree. Follow it down. You get the bulbils of various sizes. Some are actually, uh, you yeah, know, decent size. And then you follow the vine all the way down to a pot. <clears throat> Since it's at the base of a pine tree, to avoid root competition, I've been growing them in uh, pots. So. Let's we'll see what happens when we dig this up. So my guess is this pot's actually way too small for this yam. Um, it's pretty well rooted in the ground. Hopefully the yam isn't halfway in the pot, halfway uh, in the ground. Which could very well be, but we'll see. So, this bulge in the pot is the yam. So you can see how the pot is bulging out and a big chunk of the yam is coming out the bottom. This is solid. I imagine that the, uh, <laughs> the yam is entirely filled up the pot. I think the lesson here is you don't use a hard pot when you're growing yams that are going to fill the whole pot. You use a flexible grow bag. It's a lot easier to get yam out than you would have to destroy the pot. It's pretty much one giant cluster of yam. It just filled the entire bottom of the pot. So this is the yam after it's been cleaned up. Uh, you can see it's composed of multiple segments, but all of this is from one vine, a lot of food from one plant. Yam harvest. 